Hey guys, so it is week three of our barbecue... Adventure? Adventure. Series? Spotlight? Series. Series. Mm. Okay, this week we are in Del Mar Loop uh, at Salt and Smoke. Uh, we've been here once before uh, and we kind of remember what it's like, but we're going to... It's gonna... the fourth week. It's the fourth week, guys. Yes. Anyways, we came to Salt and Smoke in the Loop. Yep, and uh, we're excited to try it. My sister Danielle is with us. Say hi, Danielle. She says hi. <laughs> she doesn't like being on camera. So, here she is holding the camera for us. All right, uh, join us, guys, as we go on this adventure. Hey, guys, Jason here. I just wanted to talk about this clip for a brief second. So, you'll notice as we get closer to Salt and Smoke, uh, you'll notice some artwork on some of the windows. Uh, what happened was, a uh, week before we came, were some of the protests here in St. Louis. And unfortunately, as some of the protests moved through Delmar, a bunch of windows were broken out. And a lot of the business owners, and owners instead of leaving the windows all boarded up and gross looking. They went ahead and painted those boards and just made the place look good, even though it could have looked bad uh, during this time. But they just kind of put in a little, little, little extra effort to just make the place look good in this bad situation. The shell of the ravioli, very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Inside, the flavor was good. Um, I'm not sure what they seasoned it with, but it definitely made the inside. So a lot of times with ravioli, you get a lot of ravioli, but no um, no fillings, especially with toasted ravioli. Uh, but it was it was filled very well, and the inside had good flavor. It was it wasn't lost in the deep fry process, which happens a lot. Um, the sauce, the, that's the white barbecue sauce, and um, it's very creamy, very good. I enjoyed it. I have no complaints about the appetizer. And here we go. What is this? Smoked wings, ribs, brisket, cheddar loaf, pulled pork, and the side. All right, I got some brisket. I'm starting in hot tangy, hot tangy, hot tangy, I don't hot tangy. Know. I'm guessing like that. it's gonna be hot and tangy. I'm gonna get a lot. It's quite watery. That's good. It is very hot and tangy. I think it's like a vinegary tang to it. It's a good one. And then. I have Mustarolina. I think it's supposed to be like Carolina mustard or something like that. Also very watery. Very mustardy. Jason would hate this. But I like it. But it is a very strong mustard. Mustardy mustard flavor. On my plate I have the I Can't Even and the My Sweet Bestie. So uh, I'm going to start off with the I Can't Even. Also very watery. Not as watery I think as the two root had. But um, still very, very watery. Kind of a tangy. A tangy taste at first, but a lot of heat afterwards. Oh, I can't even. The heat builds. And it keeps building. So that's your really hot sauce one. Yeah, that is pretty hot. It wasn't at first. When it first hit my tongue, it was very... Like, it had a kick, but it wasn't a hot kick. It was like a, a zing, almost. But then... The more it was in my mouth. Hold on. Mm. That was very spicy. Good though, but very spicy. Okay. And then uh, the other sauce I have is my my sweet bestie, and this one is actually pretty thick. Like no effort, and it went right on the meat. It's your standard, typical barbecue sauce, but. Very good. It's a nice flavor. It's got a very smoky flavor. 
and uh, just overall a great a great taste for a barbecue sauce. Last one is the white barbecue sauce. It's very fresh tasting. It almost feels like a marriage of barbecue sauce and ranch. You said it, it's a aioli. What is what is aioli? That's the Google. I'm, I'm not the Google. I'm gonna ask the Google and I'll get back to you. Yeah, I'm gonna try some pulled pork while I'm at it, just by itself. A perfect flavor, so smoky and very tender. It's not juicy, juicy, but not at all dry. Okay, I'm gonna try the ribs. These ribs are all in one piece. Let's see how easily they tear. Not too bad. I'm gonna try to get just one. All right, here's, here's a nice piece that I'm gonna try to go ahead and eat. Looks, the outside looks very, very crunchy. I mean, it's very tender. Came off the bone, so easy. Look how clean that bone is. I didn't even try. The flavor on the, the surface, though, excellent. It lives up to their namesake. Salty and smoky. Very good. Oh, oh, how fast that bone just gets cleaned off. That's a sign of a good rib right there. And then the last meat we got is a smoked wing. This just, this looks excellent. This looks like what a wing should look like. Oh, man. I don't know what they season this with, but it is absolutely fantastic. The chicken is just so moist, so juicy. Oh, I can't. You guys didn't want any of this, right? <laughs> the uh, chili. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it man. Smoke. I don't know how he already forgot the name. I already forgot the name. We got our froyo afterwards because it's just down the street and it's perfect because it's so hot today. And guys, not to tell you, Sugar Fire Smokehouse might have some competition here. Yeah, we always thought Sugar Fire was our favorite, but this one. Oh man, everything was so good. All right, so for me, <clears throat> are you ready? Yeah. Five. Five. Everything was fantastic. I Every mean, you saw it. Nothing dry. Nothing dry. Everything. everything I think it's Texas style barbecue. Everything was dry rubbed. Everything. It went fun by itself. You didn't need sauce. In fact, half the time I was like, do I want to put sauce on this? Why am I, I even putting sauce on this? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was so good. Perfectly moist. Yeah. Perfectly seasoned. Like, if they bottled that dry rub, I'm pretty sure we would all buy it. Absolutely. Everything was just so good. The chicken was probably the best, I, I think. And uh, it was just so moist and just seasoned to perfection. Uh, yeah, it is. Thank you for repeating. You're welcome. All right, so the second one is sauce. Yeah. Ready? Five. Four. I couldn't think of a reason to not give it a five, so I gave it a five. The reason I didn't give it a five, the reason I went with a four, 
is only because the majority of the sauces were very runny. Mm. We put just a little bit on a huge plate, and by the time we were done, the entire plate was just covered in sauces. They were all good. Oh, I didn't try the mustard, but you know, I'm sure it was good. The rest of them were just so runny, uh, except for the regular, the, the um, bestie sweet or something like that. But other than that- That was normal barbecue sauce consistency yeah. and normal flavor. Yeah, but the rest of them were really runny, and that's the only reason I gave it a four. Otherwise, they were all very good. The, the spicy sauce, the uh, I can't even, so spicy. And uh, it was just a wide range of sauces and- Yeah, because you had the white barbecue sauce, the mustard, which were all both very different. And then you have your spicy, your even spicier, and your normal sweet barbecue. So definitely everything you need. Yeah. All right, sides. Sides. Five. Five. Can I go six? You want to give them a plus? No, you can give them a bonus point for the mac and cheese. I will give them a bonus point for the mac and cheese. I mean, we said in the last video, if he likes the mac and cheese, it's good. But this mac and cheese was not just good. It was fantastic. The flavor was just blew me away every time I took a bite, it, it, Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's probably the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had in my entire life. And that is saying something. It was so. quite good. And then we also had the brisket chili, which I really liked. It definitely had a chili flavor to it. Danielle liked it too. It had a little bit of heat to it and the brisket in it was amazing. Yeah. So yeah, the sides were just absolutely fantastic. They deserve that five plus one from me. And yeah, we did only try two of the sides, but I'm sure the rest will be great and you can try other ones and let us know if you disagree. And then service. Service, ready? Yeah. Five. I don't know, I just, I think he he was very happy. He was very pleasant the entire time. And he did keep Jason's uh, drink refilled pretty well, which is hard to do because he drinks like a camel. Uh, yeah. So I feel like, I don't know, I was gonna give it a five and then suddenly I gave it a four. Yeah, because I just. It was, no, it was good. Service was perfect. Uh, wasn't necessarily like, I told you that one, the first place we went to, really set the bar high for that five for me. Yeah. But this was, there no complaints. To yeah. be honest, about I just the I think I think the gentleman that served us was very friendly. Very friendly. Very helpful with absolutely everything. He came back quite often to refill drinks, take plates. The food came out super quickly, but he didn't come so often that it was annoying. So he had that perfect balance. Yeah. So yeah. I, I I definitely think it was worth that five. But yeah, so those are ratings. Of course, we'll put the total up here, and that was salt and smoke. I think this might be one of our new top barbecue places to absolutely. go, as you can see from the final absolutely. score. And man. Can't come back here for a whole month. Dang it. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy us, our frozen yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> let us know in the comments down below what you thought of everything that you saw. Let us know if you've been, if you want to go. You know, just share your experiences with us. We'd love to hear it. You want to go? <laughs> go to Salt and Smoke. You will. You will not be disappointed. And let us know if there's any place that you think we should go and try out on one of our future food series and. Other than that, I guess we will see you at the next barbecue place see you next time, in about guys. a week. I was afraid of fear itself. It took so long to leave this shell. And yeah, I know I've been a little slow, but hey, 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 hey I'm good to go.